Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at the 2023 Toyota Highlander. This is a mid-size crossover that seats either 7 or 8 passengers. It's available in up to 22 different configurations between 7 different trim levels with either front or all-wheel drive and as a hybrid or non-hybrid. The current 4th generation launched in 2020 and carries over into 2023 with a few updates. Those updates include a new higher torque turbocharged powertrain, a larger multimedia screen, a new green paint color, and some new packaging options. Prices for the Highlander start right around $36,000 and climb up into the low $50,000 range. I've driven both the XSE and hybrid versions before, but let's hop in and take a closer look and see at some of the highlights of the 2023 Toyota Highlander. This review will focus on the 2023 Toyota Highlander Hybrid, which is offered in both front and all-wheel drive. Under the hood is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder hybrid engine that works with a pair of electric motors to deliver 186 horsepower and 175 pound-feet of torque. The hybrid engine feels somewhat underpowered off the line, but handled well in passing once cruising at highway speeds. It will get from 0 to 60 in approximately 8 seconds, which is slower than many of its competitors. The ride is very quiet and smooth. Steering is light to the touch, but quick enough to give the Highlander some decent agility. The hybrid comes with a 17.1 gallon gas tank, which will get you in the ballpark of 400 miles when it's full. It's rated at 35 miles per gallon city, 34 highway, and 36 miles per gallon combined. After a week of suburban driving, I averaged 33 miles per gallon in generally decent winter weather. Not much has changed on the outside since the 2020 model's redesign. The front hood is sculpted with an indentation to dip down to the center of the hood, adding some character. The headlights feature standard LED lighting that wraps around to the front fenders. The fenders have a prominent flare, which is emphasized by a swooping character line up the rear doors. Around back, Toyota has added LED lighting in the taillights, which look great at night, and a bumper that consists of two different finishes, which will vary with each trim level. Wheel options vary based on trim and range in size from 18-inch painted alloys on LE models to 20-inch alloys on the Limited and Platinum models. Hopping inside, the layout for front passengers is well thought out, comfortable, and includes high-quality materials. Most prominent was the available 12.3-inch touchscreen display at the center of the dash, which is easy to reach. Toyota's infotainment system integrates wirelessly with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and also compatible with Amazon Alexa. Below the large screen is a split-level in-dash storage tray that provides the perfect place to set your mobile device or sunglasses. And new for 2023, the available wireless charging feature is now located on this in-dash shelf. This is a huge improvement over the prior location in the center console, which I found to be a fault back in 2021. The seats in the Highlander are extremely comfortable and are available both heated and ventilated. Heated second row seats are also an available option on higher trim models. There is plenty of head, leg, and shoulder room for the first two rows. Toyota nailed the fit and finish of the first two rows, but climbing back to the third row, it seems they dropped the ball. The Highlander's third row seats are tight, even for kids. Thankfully, Toyota recently just announced the arrival of a new model called the Grand Highlander that will provide more spacious third row seating for 2024. Up above, the front two rows was a larger panoramic moonroof that has a significant opening portion that is likely one of the bigger ones in the class. The Highlander Hybrid has less cargo space than most three-row SUVs, but more cargo room than many rivals in the hybrid SUV class. There is 16 cubic feet of cargo room behind the third row, 48.4 cubic feet with the third row folded down, and 84.3 cubic feet with both rear rows folded. A power liftgate comes standard, and hands-free power liftgate is also available. Toyota continues to offer Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus standard on all Highlanders. Features like the available blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and the front and rear parking assist with automatic braking will add to the overall safety package, making you feel quite comfortable and safe behind the wheel. Toyota did a nice job when it updated the Highlander in 2020 and it carries over into 2023. The hybrid is a fuel efficient option that many competitors don't currently offer. It's a well built, high quality crossover that does almost everything well inside. The technology continues to advance and is quite intuitive. It's priced a bit higher than most, but overall feels more premium as well. The combination of quality, reputation, and reliability make the Highlander prices justified, thus making it a good value, especially if you're looking to hang on to your vehicle for many years to come. That's a wrap of my review of the 2023 Toyota Highlander. For the full review, be sure to visit drivechicago.com or subscribe below for even more automotive content. And give us a follow on our other social channels, including Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.